Hey and welcome back to this new pizza Dray tutorial. Today we want to create an abstract ocean scene. We will use the ocean modifier to create the water. After that we will add an animate ship container. And finally we will add some fog and some lights. Let's jump right in. Here we are in a fresh planner scene and let's start here with this cube. We want to add here now a add modifier ocean. And now we can jump right here into the timeline and animate this one. Let's change this to zero. And I want to add here this keyframe. Let's go to 250 and change this to five and add another keyframe. And now we are having here our animating ocean. Uh, I like to have no easing. So let's go to interpolation mode and linear. Let's bring in here a new asset, which is um, the container. So let's go to import. FBX. Now we want to import this from Free Polygon. Um, I will put a link into the description. Let's select this one and press import FBX. Yeah, now the FBX is in our blend file. So we can see we're having here a lot of stuff. Let's press M and new collection and rename this to container. What we want to do now is delete here the stuff which we don't need. <laughs> so we don't need here the doors. So press X to delete, uh, delete. And we don't need uh, these four things here. So press X again. That looks good. And let's hide now the container. Now let's create a instance of this container instance to scene. And now we can press N to put this to the right position. Let's go here with minus 3.1 by zero. Now later we want to animate this, but now let's put this to minus 2.7. And I want to rotate this a little bit weird here. <laughs> uh, you can change uh, the angle which you like, but I want to go here now with minus 27.2 and minus 29.8. Okay, now it's time for our camera. So let's go here now into the view mode. And let's change this to zero by minus 19.3 and 0.9 in the Z. Let's rotate this to 90 by zero by zero. And now we can see that we're having here our container in our scene. Let's leave everything like it is, but I want to change now the resolution to a little bit more panoramic. So let's go with uh, 3840 by 1440. Now we can see the ocean is moving, but our container is still still. <laughs> Let's select the container and we want to animate this in the Z value. Yeah, let's hit here the first point on zero and the next on 250. Now we want to change uh, this here to graph editor. And when we are going down and press here on the Z location, we can go here to modifiers and add a new noise. Now when we are scrubbing through the timeline, we can see that the container is moving, but really fast <laughs> and jittery. Yeah, to smooth this one out, let's go here into the settings. And I want to change the scale to 110. The strength down to minus 0 0.8. Let's leave the offset like it is and the face to 26.6. Now when we are scrubbing through, container is moving smoothly. Now let's uh, do some shading. I want to change this here now to shade editor and we can go here now to rendering and I want to change this GPU compute. And first let's add here now an HDRI. I want to use here the easy HDRI plugin. I will put a link into the description for this one. And now I want to select here my favorite HDRI folder and press create. And I want to go here with the sky is on fire. Let's go here now into the world settings and I want to rotate this one now. Okay, let's go here with minus 169. And as we can see here now, here's a little bit, some kind of water stuff. So to change this, let's put this a little bit down by 1.8 in the X. To have a little bit more evening um, sunset stuff here, let's change this one here to point one and that's everything which we want to change here let's go back now to object and we can select here now our ocean which has already in material 
So let's change this here to ocean. So what we want to do now is change the color to black. And I want to turn down the roughness. And to add a little bit more detail, let's go here and add a noise. So let's search for a noise texture. Bring this one into a bump to the height. And this one here into the normal. Okay, let's turn down the scale a little bit to 3.4. And I want to turn down the strength as well to 0.1. Maybe let's go here into the camera and change the passport to a little bit. Now let's add some fog to create some atmosphere. So let's uh, go here and add a new cube. And this one is 76 and all axes. And let's create a new material and let's delete uh, this one and we have to search now for volumetric scatter let's pipe this one in and i want to bring uh, the color a little bit down to something uh, grayish and let's go here 0.15 by 0.25 okay and now we can uh, use here our scene light to put this into the right spot. So let's select this one. And I want to go now with minus 1.4 by minus 1 by 0. Now let's go into the settings here of the light and change this to area. I want to rotate this one now to 197 by 56.7 by 0. Now we can go into the shape and change this to square and i want to increase this to 1.5 now we can see here our light let's change this to something bluish to have a little contrast to the background let's put this down to 500. the last thing now is to add a little bit more um, volumetric stuff so let's duplicate here our fog maybe let's rename this one press shift and d and escape so it's on the same position and now we have to go to the first frame of our animation so keep this in mind and now we want to drag and drop this to the container down so uh, let's hit the mouse button and press shift and put this as a child of the container and when we are <laughs> moving now our animation you should see that the cube is moving as well. Okay, that is good. But now we have to adjust here a little bit this cube. Let's select this one and I want to put this to 2.1 by 0 by 1.7. Let's rotate this. <laughs> little weird again here. So 14 by minus 28.8 by minus 27.4. And I want to scale this down to 12 by 6 by 13.4. When we're going here now, we can see that the cube is a little bit off, but that's okay. Now let's uh, duplicate this material. Now let's press on this button here. And we want to increase now the density to 1 and then as a trophy to point or H. And now when we are going here into the settings and to the color management, we can change here the look if we want to, to something like medium high contrast or very high, but <laughs> that's up to you as always. But I like to go here with a medium contrast. Yeah, and there's one thing. I think that uh, <laughs> this container is a little bit dark. So let's go here into the container collection, select uh, one of this here, and I want to change now the base color uh, in the HSV saturation down here. So that is white. Now let's disable this one. Now we can see a little bit better here our container. And I think, yeah, that's it here for now. That was this tutorial. And if you like my stuff, check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, check out my Comrade or Blender Market page. See you there and bye.